Hampton Home Channel. Today's segment on store, will be on store layout and design, and today's actual segment will be on traffic flow. Now, I personally believe that traffic flow really begins with the outside of the store. And unfortunately, this is an area where many small independents really kind of lose the boat. I personally like to see the front of the store uh, with uh, attractive windows. Uh, they should be well lit uh, in the evening. Um, I love flowers, if you can do it, flags, um, anything that just makes the store inviting and, 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 and entices the customer to make the first step. I know from my own experience, my wife will not go into a store unless she's really attracted to the outside of it, so it is very, very important. Now, once inside the store, you want to have displays that are exciting and entice the customer to just keep coming forward. And this is done with usually lighting and merchandise. Now, you have to have aisle space. I usually like aisle space at least four feet. I don't particularly like front to back straight aisles. I like aisles to be more random. It just makes it a little bit more curious to the customer as what's going to be around the next bend, so to speak. Um, as you create these areas, they should be well lit so that as the customer is going through the store, they see the, what they're looking at and then they kind of see a glimpse of what they're going to see very shortly. And that, again, keeps bringing them through the store. Um, and I always suggest to the retailer that they take their very best lines and they put those to the rear of the store to force traffic through the store. Um, the one thing you don't want is your customer shopping your store um, from the window. Um, this is probably the kiss of death to many stores. You'll see it all the time. Customer will simply put their hand scan the store and decide at that point they're not going in. So, as I said, to eliminate this, you want them to look inside, see displays that are very enticing and inviting, make, and then they make the first step, and once they're inside the store, you then will channel them through with lighting and fixturing so that you have them see your entire product mix. I thank you for this segment and I look forward to the next.